All right, so we've done this last stand twice and we've got mm, mediocre results. To liven things up a bit, I, want, I just want to see how this works. Um, sounds like it's vaguely similar to Mercer-ish in that uh, you get to cause a certain percentage of the target's hit points as damage. Uh, I'm using Maggie and Rick. They're both they're both pretty hard hitting ranged characters. Uh, they will be setting targets alight, which is is bad for Beth. Um, so why on earth am I doing it like this? Because I wanted to. It's it's pretty much that simple. I just wanted to see how this was going to work out for us. You know, I think that that leadership trait could potentially be very good. Hmm. I don't really want them chewing on Maggie right away. So there we go. We've got those those sort of debuff circles. Anything that steps in those, if we attack it, a certain percentage of its hit points will be dealt as damage. Kind of takes a little bit of getting your head around how that works. But we should just essentially be able to cause some flat damage against targets that we otherwise might barely be able to hurt. We'll see how it goes anyway. I mean, it should be a fun little uh, fun little setup. There you go, Beth using a little bit of that range there. Got to remember that I haven't got the explosive bullets. That's what we were doing last time. Had Shane as the boss. And we had exploding walker guts everywhere. Okay, those shadows are overlapping. Those shadows? The circles are overlapping. Do you want to kill him? No. Knock him out. Fine. Rick gets the kill. He's boosting up his inspiration. Which is a good leadership trait. It really is. Uh, I was considering having Beth on the team with Rick as the leader, but um, I thought no, I kind of, I kind of do want to know how good her leadership trait really is as a leadership trait. So she's got to be a boss. She has to be. I don't have a ton of experience using her. Seems like the hits really are kind of like uh, uh, causing some significant damage and that must be because of her leadership trait. It's pretty, it, you know, it is noticeable. Can we get the K here, get some charge points for old Bethany Beth? I've given her the black powder musket. Um, it is a really good weapon. Increases your, your range, not just when you're doing a, a stab, obviously, but also when you're actually using it as a melee weapon. You're a tough little so-and-so, aren't you? So Beth should be able to get a defensive stab in here. Yeah, really thought she would have done. Swift strike kicking in. Let's get you set on fire. Rickety Rick, do you want to do the honours? Okay, just in case he doesn't die, let's get Beth the heck out of there. Reinforcements coming in. Some scary stuff, I think. I don't want to be dealing with you longer than I have to, so... Beth should get a defensive stab. Yep. Good. Try and keep everyone together as best we sort of can, really. I mean, this is this is this is pretty good fun. I am enjoying, uh, uh, you know, watching these circles of death expand and and spell doom for the walkers. It's, it it really does feel like we're we're hitting pretty hard. With our attacks, and that's that's got to be thanks to uh, Beth, who always was one of my favourite characters. Her loss in the show. Now, this is a controversial take. Maybe it should contain a trigger warning. 
Um, Glenn and Abraham, I, I thought it was shocking and I was sorry to see them go, but I don't think it spoiled the show. I think it was quite dramatically fitting when they were killed by Negan. I thought that introduced the character very well. I, I, you know, I got what was happening with the story, why they made that choice, all of that kind of stuff. I actually think, for me, Beth dying was more of a problem. And I know, I know that that is an unpopular take. But it's just how I feel, man. Let's go here. Stop that speedy in his tracks. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Damn, would have been nice to get another attack against this fellow here. Instead, we'll get some charge points for old Rickety Rick. Yeah, you're not in range. Wanted to be sure of that. Wanted to be sure that he was not going to hit Rickety Rick. You would be in range of McGaggy if she doesn't cripple you. Beth gets the kill. Gets the charge points. You, sir, are not on fire. And you need to be. It's not going to be too long before Beth is going to start taking some significant damage every time that she jabs one of these guys and they've been set light. We'll burn that bridge when we come to it. Um... Pretty impressive. You're already crippled. I want your fire, please. Just disappointing. And it should be caught. Every attack should really be causing 14% of the target's hit points to be taken off because that's that's what Le Beth's leadership trait does. Every attack against the target takes off a certain percentage of its hit points. At the level that I have her at the moment, it's it's 14%. So every attack should really be having some effect. In fact, the healthier, the healthier they are, the more of an effect it's going to have. Well, proportionally speaking. Uh, you, sir, are being a nuisance. Right, I'm just going to have to just stick him, basically. Um, yeah, Beth, you can stay there. Rickety Rick's going to have to keep on popping this guy. But the problem is that when you're at very high difficulty settings, chances that you're just going to land pretty ineffectual body shots. You know, that is something that is very likely to happen. Um, that's why Sasha is, is hands down one of the best leaders. Because she can take that negative and turn it into a positive. By granting charge points every time you get a body shot. Well. This... Is a pretty awful position to be in. Gosh darn it. Okay, I need you guys distracted. I just, I can't have them there. Let's get you on fire. At least that's something. Let's get you hurt a little bit more. We've got to punch through here. Cannot have these walkers hanging around, causing mischief. Okay, let's not wake up any of these guys over here. Okay.
So good. Good charge points from Magagi. Okay. Hmm. Right, you're definitely going to have to be crippled because you're just you're going to be able to reach the lasses if I don't do anything. Let's cause you some hurt. Okay, still going to be able to reach us, which. I do not like. Uh, hopefully we'll get some good defensive shooting and he won't get to grips with anybody. Okay, good. Rick, do you fancy a charge point or two? You do. Glad to hear it, old boy. I think we just need to, to, to get Maggie out of there, get her in a good position. You know, or at least a better position. Uh... Sure would be nice if you wanted to get stunned. Okay, we'll put you down then. Hmm. You need to be crippled, so I've got to do that. You being on fire is a very good thing. Let's get out of here. What are you? You're a speedy. I'd love to attack him. Uh, we'd kill him. We'd probably get two charge points. But I've got to cripple all of these guys. We're getting to that point where we're having to make decisions based on where we need to place our characters. As opposed to who we want to attack. We can, you know, all of that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, we've got to move you there. Otherwise, you are Walker Chow. Uh, that didn't... That didn't really help nobody. I'm going to slow you guys down. I could potentially stun you. No, just crippled. Who's got dog? Oh, Beth does. Awesome. So again, we've got to gamble that we cripple this fellow. No, we just set him alight. That makes things even more deadly for Beth. Hey, we crippled him. And now we we can't really do very much. Oh, no, 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 we ain't fleeing. We will let our people get murdered. Okay, so Beth, um, yeah, kind of, kind of certainly did enjoy using her as a hero. I think that maybe there's a more effective way to use her. Perhaps we weren't sort of doing the optimum that we could. She's interesting though. I do like the idea of every attack being able to cause at least some significant damage. But uh, Shane is more fun. Well, uh, that's what we got. Maybe we could have done better. But anyway, that's what we got. And as ever, thank you for watching.